Sometimes when we think of Christmas carols, we think of them as being quaint and overly sentimental, what the Americans would call schmaltzy. But the best carols are full of truth, big truth, big truth about Jesus. That's certainly true of the carol, O Come All Ye Faithful, which in one part describes Jesus as very God, begotten, not created. They are words lifted from the Nicene Creed, which in turn is taken from uh, John chapter 1. If you've got a few minutes today, then I'd encourage you to open your Bibles and read John chapter 1. So what does it mean to say that Jesus is begotten of God and not created? Well, to beget something has got nothing to do with French bread, but means to become the father of something. A father begets his son. And that's very different to creating something. The writer C.S. Lewis in his brilliant book, Mere Christianity, makes the point that when you beget something, you beget something of the same kind as yourself. So C.S. Lewis says a bird begets an egg, which in turn becomes uh, a small bird or a chick. A beaver begets a little beaver or a kit. But when you create something, it's always different to yourself. So a bird creates a nest or a beaver creates a dam. So God does not create Jesus, but eternally begets him. The fact that Jesus, the son, is begotten of God means that he has the very same nature as the Father. He is equal as uh, with the Father in his being, in his attributes, in his power and in his glory. You see, the birth of a child is always a big thing. But when Jesus was born, it was the turning point for the history of the world. This baby, this son, was begotten of God, was God himself. Because of Christmas, that means that we can know God. Jesus has made God known. So in John's Gospel, chapter 1, verse 18, it says, No one has ever seen God but the one and only Son, who is himself God and is at the Father's side, has made him known. It's why Christmas is such a big deal. Jesus has come, very God, begotten, not created. Well, what's our response? I think the carol gets it right. Oh, come let us adore him. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you sent Jesus, your one and only son, of the very same nature as you. You have made yourself known. And may we come to adore him today. Amen.